Hi and welcome to Ambrosia. My name is Bhavya Desai and today is all about Indri, the newest Indian single malt which comes from the house of Piccadilly Distilleries. So ये वही Piccadilly Distilleries है जिन्होंने हमें also jointly Kamath Indian single malt भी दिया था and हमने उसको भी review किया है तो यहाँ ऊपर cards में and also description में भी हम उसका link डाल देंगे अगर आपको वो review भी देखना है. But this is an independent venture which is again by Piccadilly Distilleries and the reason I'm very excited to review this is because recently this ended up winning the top honours making it a real fan favourite and a lot of consumers have really been asking for its demand. Now what is all the buzz about, how does it taste and that's the reason why we're here today. So let's find out how it is. Price of Indri is Rs. 5,100 in Maharashtra but of course you can get a little cheaper price in some of the other states which is Rs. 3,100 in states like Haryana, UP, Delhi, Bangalore and so on. Now I know what you're thinking just like me because when I heard it the first time and the first time so I thought what's really in the name you know Indri because it's a very unique and a different name. So there are two reasons behind it. First of all, this is that Indri comes from Indriya, which basically are the five senses of our body, which includes taste, smell, sight, sound and touch. And the other thing is that Indri is called this because it comes because this comes from the distillery of Piccadilly in Indri, Haryana. Now, there is another important thing which is about this, which is the word Trini. Trini meaning the word three. So the reason why it's Trini as well is because it's matured using three different type of casks. These include X bourbon, X wine and PX sherry casks. And as we know that these tend to add a unique flavor to that blend. Indri has been developed by two people, a master blender, Surinder Kumar, a man who needs no introduction and is already very known in this industry and a master distiller, Graham Bowie who was also one of the judges at the Ambrosia Awards this year. Now this malt has been made using 6 row barley and it is distilled in special onion head pot stills mein, maturing it with 3 casts which gives a good and unique flavour. So before the tasting, let's first take a look at the packaging of the product because this is very important. So if we look at the outer box, ko dekhe, to of course the colours are very soothing, hai, nice beige with a gold which is quite nice and soothing. First look, when I look at it, honestly, it looks like this is a very tall bottle. Although it's a 750ml bottle, hai, but it looks like it's inside a 1-litre bottle one liter ki bottle hai, to be very honest. What I really liked also is that there are the signatures of the master blenders as well, of course, on the, uh, on the cast. Also, there is beaming product of India, which is basically bahut bade mein pe likha hai, clearly denoting of the sort of heritage and the interest that we have. If I talk about the bottle, baat karu, so honestly, the moment you look at it, it is a familiar look. You do uh, tend to see uh, a lot of these single malt or whiskey bottles, which I see. The uh, packaging and labeling is very interesting and very good. Uh, what I also find interesting was that this material, the packaging material, that's also similar to what we've seen in Kamath Whiskey. Of course, you have all the other interesting information as well, 46% ka ABV uh, value. Hai iska. What I also liked was that there is a QR code aata hai basically. So, if you scan QR code, aap scan karenge, to this takes you to the dedicated page which is there on Indri, which gives you a lot more information about what the product is and how it is and so on. So, now it is time for what you've been waiting for. So, let's do the nosing first, of course, before we get into this. Uh... <laughs> I am definitely getting the 46% alcohol ABP value. You definitely get that spirit. It's... Or oh, you listen to the pour. That pour was really nice. So, in terms of nosing, I am uh, definitely getting a little bit of oakiness. That wood is surely coming out. There is a little bit of sweetness, little bit of uh, uh, spices as well, for sure. It is quite strong. To be very honest, uh, lag hai ke the spirit is quite strong. It really is cleaning my, clearing my nose. So 
sweetish notes as well for sure. Let's go ahead and taste it. Let's see how it is. My gosh. I mean, it really is very, very surprising. Frankly speaking, I really did not expect it to be like such explosion of uh, uh, of taste. I can surely get uh, uh, that spiciness, you know. Actually, when you take that sip, so first you really get that spiciness in and around. You get that tingly sort of a sensation, but yet it is very smooth, very balanced, not overpowering, not overbearing at all. Um, longish finish, I can still feel uh, that is still lingering around in my palate. It's quite nice. You definitely get that pineapple, ca caramelly sort of a taste. That fruit punch is there with a little bit of spice, which is added on. I'm not really. Uh, I'm not really getting uh, that level of hit which I was getting when I was actually getting the nose, which means that it is very balanced, very nice, and very relaxed. So that sweetness is there for sure. That sweetness is there, which is like honey, caramelly sort of a. Uh, 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 sort of a sweetness with that hint of spiciness. I mean, it really is. It I must say, it really is interesting. Uh, uh, it, it it actually is good. And you know what? Honestly, uh, because this is also brought to us by the same uh, company, which is jointly brought to us, uh, Kamit as well. So that's the reason why I carried with myself. Kamit as well over here because I just wanted to kind of draw a little bit of comparison. I wanted to see that both of the tastes were a making style, a little bit similar. So the taste may be a bit different or what will happen. So let me just quickly just do a tasting with that as well uh, because I think that will be very interesting. Uh, but before doing this, let me just quickly rinse my mouth because as you know, you just obviously have to clear your palate. <laughs> So this is not very overbearing, to be very honest. I mean, of course, this is 42.8% alcohol, so that's why you don't really get that hit. But in terms of uh, the uh, the nosing, you do get similar sort of taste. Thoda sa aara hai ke it is uh, kind of uh, uh, sweet, uh, caramelly as well, with definitely a little bit more sweetness uh, than what you'd uh, see in this. So if you drink both one after the other, you can clearly understand the sort of difference and the ideology behind both of these uh, malls. This is of course less spirit, so uh, it is not really something which hits you very hard. Finish bhi itni lambi nahi hai jitni indri ki thi. Flavor wise, yes, it is still very good, uh, but uh, it is a little milder, I would say. Uh, do get the sweetish notes. You do get a little bit of that fruity punch uh, for sure. You do get that caramelly. Uh, honey sort of a feel, uh, but yes, I mean, uh, in terms of this, both of these, there's definitely a much clearer difference. And what do we eventually think about Indri, uh, jo basically uh, India ka naya single malt hai? Uh, to be very honest, I mean, it really is very very interesting. Especially if you are buying from other states, which are 3100 rupees, you are getting in many states. Mein mil rahi hai. It genuinely is a lot of explosion of good flavors. Uh, you know, something which India should really be proud of. Uh, to be very honest, uh, it is smooth. It is it is balanced. Even with a high spirit content, which is 46%, still it is really nice. Good lingering effect as well. Spiciness, little bit of tingly. Uh, you get a little bit of sweetness as well with that 
at Honey as well. Uh, honey caramelly sort of note, a little nutty sort of a note. Uh, uh, so honestly, I mean, if you are really a fan of a lot of single malls or if you're a fan of someone who's really been drinking a lot of Indian single malls like your Amruts and like your Paul John's and so on, and of course, if you've tasted Kamit as well, then I really think that this is an Indian single malt that you should add to your collection. Mein surely add karna uh, so we give a thumbs up to of course Indri, it really is very interesting. Uh, trust me, if you see it or you taste it yourself, you will get a much better idea. Uh, but if you like this video, then make sure that you like, share and subscribe to our channel. I mean, Instagram pe bhi follow us on Instagram, do watch our website ambrosiaindia.com. And until next time, happy. Oh, drink responsibly.